about two months ago i did a commentary talking about vlad where he made some very disparaging remarks towards taraji p henson if y'all remember taraji p henson was basically upset with the pay discrepancy that was going on in hollywood specifically when it came to black actresses and she pretty much had every right to do so because there's always been an issue when it comes to the pay of black actors and actresses out there in Hollywood compared to their PC counterparts, both uh, actor and actress. And he was basically, in my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinions, was pocket watching this woman while also uh, mocking her at the same time. And we checked him on it. Well, for those of you who are looking at this video right now, it looks like we're going to have to check somebody else. And it wouldn't be the first time we checked him. And that person would be Faison Love. Now, Faison Love has ended up in my bed bucking Hall of Shame before. So I think this might be his second entry. And I can't remember exactly what the first one was for, but it was definitely for some off code ish. And he's doing it again. So. Keep in mind about what I said about Vlad and Taraji. Well, fast forward to recently, as in April 1st, at the time of, of me recording this video, Faison Love basically made remarks saying how, you know, I don't see how she could get paid like $10 million for a, a one movie that she's did. Or see, I can't think of one movie I've seen of hers where she should have gotten paid $10 million, basically saying she should be happy with the money that she is indeed receiving. Now, of course, this comment comes months after the whole thing, the whole situation with her and her issues and her gripes. So that is pretty much an old story or something that has pretty much, I'm not going to say it's been dealt with because I don't know her situation, but it's something she's already addressed and it's pretty much now she probably wants to leave this in the past, so why would he bring this back up? But no shock or surprise that when he made this comment, who he made it in front of, what platform he was on when he said it, and it was none other than Vlad. Now, I'm not going to play the video itself because I know how from... From per people I've heard who said they play his stuff before, how he is when it comes to the copyright thing. So I'm not even going to play his material. But thankfully, I was able to come across this article on the source that's going to give us a little bit of text of what was said when he sat down in front of that culture vulture. Comedian Faison Love recently stirred controversy with his remark remarks questioning the merits of Taraji P. Henson's demand for an $80 million payday in Hollyweird. Love's comments came during a conversation with Vlad TV where they discussed Henson's dissatisfaction with pay discrepancies in the film industry. Now, the $80 million, I don't think that's what she's looking for as far as a payday because no one's going to get paid that much money for a movie. I think the cap ends up ends at like $20 million. So I don't know where the $80 million comes from because one place I saw said that he um, mentioned about $10 million. So I don't know where the $80 million comes from. But then again, this is Faison Love being off code as usual, sitting in front of Vlad, one of the biggest culture vultures in existence. So they could have easily made something up because, again, they're talking about another black person. It goes on to say, the discussion was sparked by Henson's interview during the press tour for The Color Purple, where she openly expressed her frustration for the unequal payment and recognition she receives compared to her white counterparts in Hollywood. However, Love seemed skeptical about Henson's demand, asking, what Taraji P. Henson movie have you seen where she deserves $80 million? But the thing is, she didn't say anything about $80 million. So what is he talking about? He got the numbers wrong, of course, because I don't think she was demanding $80 million dollars because no one's going to get paid that much for a movie it can add up like if you do like a multi-picture deal it can add up to that over time but i don't think she's just asking for 80 or demanding 80 million dollars for one movie that's not what i gathered from her i don't even think she asked for a particular figure she was just asking like why is the pay unequal that's pretty much it and she broke down if you watched when she was talking about she broke down how the pay is distributed when she does get paid for these roles she doesn't get paid every dime you know she has to split that up between you no know, taxes her agent 
her manager, basically her team. She usually is the one that gets paid last when you think about it. So I don't know where they're coming from with this, except for the fact that, again, off code behavior. And he's talking about this black woman in a very disparaging way in front of this culture vulture who already has something dis disgusting and disturbing to say about her and her comments months ago. So I'm not surprised, but then again, I always say if you're a black person, you're going to sit in front of Vlad. You are always, in my opinion, going to be very off code in my honest opinion, because you already know what type of crowd or what type of material he puts out there. During the conversation with Vlad, Love expressed his discomfort with certain depictions in Henson's film, suggesting that the quality of her work might not justify such a hefty paycheck. And uh, here's another thing. Going back to where he uh, said, what Taraji P. Henson movie have you seen where she deserves $80 million? Again, she didn't ask for $80 million. But I've seen movies where she definitely, if she did not get paid what she was supposed to, she should have definitely got paid that for sure. Hidden Figures is one that definitely comes to mind. Now, the question I asked the phase on love, what movie or film have you ever done in your entire career where you got paid? I don't know. Should I say even one million dollars? Because wasn't it him a few years ago, back in 2021, I believe it was, where he was complaining and was mad at Ice Cube saying he was underpaid working on Friday? He was I could have sworn he he was complaining about that, if I'm not mistaken. Now, here he is fast forwarding, basically talking ish about Taraji, basically saying she's basically saying the same thing where she actually is deserving of it and has a way better career than he could ever have. I wonder what bridges this dude has burned where his career couldn't go past the early 2000s, in my honest opinion. So, like I said, it sounds like jealousy and envy to me. But let me go ahead and get back on track. During the conversations with Vlad, Love expresses discomfort with certain depictions in Henson's film, suggesting that the quality of her work might justify such a hefty paycheck. Vlad, on the other hand, speculated that the controversy surrounding the color purple might have overshadowed Henson's comments on pay inequality. As the discussion progressed, Vlad proposed that after decades in the industry, Henson should consider transitioning into producing or creating her own films to have control over her career and earnings. This suggestion opened up a broader conversation about the complexities of success in Hollywood, especially concerning overseas markets and different genres of films. Love challenged the notion that action films are inherently more successful internationally, citing examples of his own comedic films that have performed well overseas. This led to a deeper exploration of the global appeal of various genres and the potential for actors like Henson to leverage their talents in different ways to achieve financial and creative success. The conversation between Love and Vlad highlights the ongoing debate surrounding pay equity and recognition for actors of color their words not mine let's just keep it on black actors in hollywood and that's the entire article right there the only thing that vlad said in here and i can't even say bring myself to say i agree with him because i of i and several us of us have said this before he even said it before this whole thing it's just the fact that he had to basically throw a black woman under the bus in order to get that point across is that they should be creating their own films in their own industries even with this, even if it's their own industry within an industry. So I always I said that, too. I said, you know, Taraji, if she has to go and do her own thing, that way she can go ahead and pay herself. Go ahead and so be it and let that be that. At the same time, that still doesn't negate what Vlad said months ago. And it doesn't negate what Faison said to Vlad about this woman this month in April or whenever this interview was conducted, the article was posted on April 1st. So the, the interview for all we know could have been conducted last month. It's just that it just recently got posted and it doesn't negate the fact that Faison was still very much off code to say this in front of this guy about her. But I get, like I said, anybody who goes on the Vlad, you already know what you're in for. You already know what you're in for when it comes to that. 
But it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me at all.